I'm Old Sneelock. Welcome to another episode of Old Sneelock's Workshop. I was down on Westnich today, had to do some banking. But while I was down there, that's down where the Habitat for Humanity Restore is. And I try and stop by there every time I get a chance because it's a great place to find tools. So I walked into the store and I'm looking around. I also wanted to find a cabinet for the bathroom. Didn't have much hope for it, but you know, never hurts to look. But while I was looking, one of the clerks was walking over to where they stored the tools. She had two things in her hands, so I walked over to see what she was carrying. One was a hedge clipper. I don't need any more hedge clippers. On the other hand, she had a circular saw. This one. This is a Sears Craftsman 7-inch electric handsaw. 100% ball and roller bearings, 6,000 RPMs, develops 2 horsepower. Model number 31527802. Well, I picked it up, checked the cord, checked the switch, checked everything on it. I didn't plug it in. I usually plug things in when I'm there, but I thought, what's to go wrong with this thing? So, I'm going to plug it in for the first time here. To do that, I have to cut the tie wraps on the cord. Cord looks to be fairly new. And it actually fits the saw. So I was kind of impressed. Now this is the point where you kind of worry about it. Okay, I'm not getting a poke. That's good. And it starts and runs too. Didn't get a shock off of it. Starts and runs. Doesn't have a lot of bearing noise. Sounds like a good thing. Something that it had was kind of interesting to me. It's got this button that locks the arbor so the blade can be removed. Now I haven't found any manuals. Went online and looked, and there was a bit of information about it, but not a lot. There we go. That needs to be oiled up. I like this dirt and dust resistant dry lube by WD-40. I went looking for dry slide and I couldn't find it. And I came home with this and it seems to work pretty well. There we go. Now it's moving. Put a little down in here. That's more like it. Now look at this. Hmm. Never seen one of those before. Now this only has a single D on the drive. It looks like more of a friction drive than a actually has a D-shaped cutout in it. That lock on the arbor is a nice thing. Now this is built a lot more along the lines of my skill screwdriver. Really heavy. 
nice thick solid shoe on the bottom of it. Moves easily. When you have a nail that just won't come out and you've broken the head off of it trying to pull it with a claw hammer and you've heated it which worked on these four down here and this one but this one just doesn't want to come out of there and I've heated it and the head's broken off my last step it seems to work is take a pair of vice grips Bigger ones work a little better, but I've got these in my hand. Clamp them on as tightly as you possibly can, and then use it to rock the nail out. Now this one's breaking, but it broke off above the top of the wood surface, so that's still enough so I can get a grip on it. It's coming out. It's not liking it, but I didn't ask it to like it, I just told it to come out. And there we have it. I don't often fight a piece of wood that hard, but I wanted to use this piece of oak and I didn't want to have that nail in it. That would cause problems down the road. So that's how I remove nails. Last ditch. First, claw hammer. Always go with a claw hammer. Then, if the head breaks off, I take the claw hammer and I rotate it sideways. If that doesn't work, I heat it. And if that doesn't work, vice grips. Hasn't failed me yet. What I wanted this piece of oak for was I wanted to test this saw and I wanted to test it against something that's fairly resistant. Now that I've got the guard swinging and all the bolts and everything oiled up so it moves, let's see how well it does on cutting.
Not too bad. That's a plywood blade though. That's what came on the saw and it was the easiest to get to. This one's a little bit more aggressive. Deluxe hard chrome. That's what it says on the label anyways. I have the saw unplugged. I do like this arbor lock button. Those over there out of the way. Slide the guard up and over. Now cutting through that piece of oak did take off quite a bit of the guck that was on this saw blade, but the teeth are still, now well, they're dull, it needs to be sharpened. Now this is just a tool steel blade. It calls itself high chrome, but... And that's 11 16 Fits pretty close across the flats. But if I try and use the 12 point, it's got a lot of slop on it. Next standard size down in five is five eighths. Well, according to this fits all wrench, it's eleven sixteenths. And according to the flats, it's just under eleven sixteenths. So I bet it's a proprietary. This saw probably came with a wrench to fit it. If I had a manual to go with this saw. I might be able to find that out, but right now, all I got is guesswork. Okay, we'll plug it in, see what it does. Now that's a nice saw. A good sharp blade cut two and a quarter inches into that white oak two and three quarter by three and a quarter inch chunk of white oak from a pallet, which means it's tougher than nails, went right through it. That's right up there with my screw drive. It says it develops two horsepower. I think that's pretty accurate. My estimation, that's $5 well spent. I think with a little more cleanup, it's gonna be a nice saw. Actually, it seems to be a nice saw now. It's, it's heavy, definitely heavy. But that's not necessarily a bad thing. I mean, if I'm going to be cutting overhead with a thing, that's one thing. But most of the time, I'm cutting flat. And a heavy saw is actually stable. It doesn't jerk around on you. The nicest thing was the price tag. Five bucks. That's not bad for five minutes work. So if you have a chance to stop at the Habitat for Humanities Restore, it's a great place to buy tools. It's also a great place to find all kinds of things. I have a lot of fun looking there. It's quite a ways away. It's almost 12 miles away from the home. But if I'm down in that area, I stop and take a look. If you have any suggestions for a new video, questions about today's video, or any of the other videos on the channel, 
just drop a note in the comments. You know I read them all. Thanks for watching.